Today's recipe, we're making Caesar salad dressing, and I'm gonna be putting my healthy spin on it because that's what I like to do. And it's delicious and nutritious, and it'll make you ambitious. I got a couple of requests for today's recipe, and if you ever have any requests, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear it. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after my chef joke. Okay, I like to start off with chef joke number one, and we'll have number two a little bit later in the video. Okay, so today's joke is very easy. I'm almost positive that 100% of you that are watching this are gonna get it right. So let me know by hitting the like button, okay? Here we go. What kind of lettuce did they serve on the Titanic? Come on, I know you know this. Iceberg. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start putting everything into a bowl here and I'm using Greek yogurt as opposed to most traditional Caesar dressing is made with uh, mayonnaise. And mayonnaise usually contains oils that are not good for us. They're inflammatory like canola oil, sunflower oil, you know, those kinds of things. So we're gonna eliminate that. And I'm gonna just put uh, my yogurt in here. You're gonna use Greek yogurt. I'm using organic Greek yogurt. It's thicker and you wanna use the thicker type so that your dressing isn't runny. Next goes a little bit of avocado mayo. This is Primal Kitchen and I really like this brand, so I'm gonna to toss some of that in there. Next, I'm gonna add a teaspoon of each. Here I have some Dijon mustard, and this really helps to hold and emulsify the whole thing and keep it together. Now this next ingredient is vital to this recipe. It's anchovy paste. So I found one that's wild caught, which I really like, and we're gonna put that in. You really want to have this because this really makes the flavor for Caesar dressing. I'm just going to use my finger here to help that out and into our dressing. Now grab yourself a nice fresh lemon and juice it. It's the only way to go. And so we'll add that juice to our mixture. Now it's always great to use fresh Parmesan cheese where you freshly grate it. It's got nothing but cheese in it, no fillers, no you know, anything else in it and just it, the flavor is just incredible. So toss that in. And next I have some raw, fresh garlic and I like to just put mine through a press, let it sit for a little bit so that uh, all the enzymes get activated and then we'll just place this right in. And if you're not a big fan of garlic, you might wanna cut back, but I definitely would put a little bit in. You could put half a clove, but I'm gonna go ahead and put a whole clove here in. And here I have some nice, olive oil that I'm gonna to add to this. We'll toss in a tablespoon. We're gonna add just a pinch of salt, not too much because the anchovy paste uh, has you know, plenty of salt in it and some crack in a bit of pepper in there. Then you take a whisk and you just blend that all up. Now you could do this in a food processor if you wanted to, that would work too. Or if you had one of those small blenders where you, it fills it up pretty much. But a good old whisk does the job too. And then of course, once you mix all this in, give it a taste and see if there's any adjustments you wanna make. You might wanna add a little more anchovy paste or maybe some more pepper or mustard, maybe lemon juice, just depends on your taste buds. So I like to store mine in a mason jar because I have a nice lid for it. And it keeps, like I said, for about a week. Okay, so it must be time for chef joke number two. Here we go. Why does the lettuce always win the bodybuilding competition? Because it starts ahead and is usually shredded. <laughs> so when you're ready to serve up your Caesar salad, give it a stir and then just apply some. You don't wanna overdo it, but just add a couple of spoonfuls, depending on how big your salad is, and then give it a toss and you can always add more. Add a little bit more Parmesan cheese to the top of your salad and mix that in, and you've got one heck of a delicious and nutritious Caesar salad. Let me know down in the comments below if you want me to show you how to make some gluten-free uh, croutons from just gluten-free bread. All right, there you have it. Nice and easy to make, delicious, and a little bit healthier. And I think you guys are gonna love it. Let me give it a taste. Those flavors are great. 
Don't even be tempted to leave out the anchovy paste. You gotta put that in. It's not fishy at all, but it adds such a dimension to the flavor. And you got the garlic in there. Uh, I tell you, the lemon, I mean, everything together is just fantastic. Now, if you'd like to try another salad recipe, I've got a ranch dressing that you might really like. So I'm gonna leave a link for you right here on the screen and you can check it out. Thanks so much for watching today. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and smash the like button to let me know. All right, we'll see you next week back here for another rockin' recipe.